What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Sheik Luch, L-O-X, D-Block, Silverback. Hey, yo, Diesel, what's good? Hey, yo, I need everybody to shout out and check my man Diesel out, man. It's called Turning the Table. Turning the Table Podcast. That's what it is. I need everybody to check for that joint. Turning the Table Podcast. My man Diesel, keep doing your thing. Continue success, family. Locks, D-Block. Peace. I let my tape drop to my tape pop Now I'm in the, now I'm, now I'm in the limelight Cause I was all a dream Never thought that hip hop, never thought that hip hop Never thought that hip hop Hey yo, what's good, y'all? I'm your boy Diesel, and you rocking with Turning the Table Podcast. Hey yo, we get ready to get into this new mixtape from Sheik Loose titled Beast Mode 4. Now, I ain't gotta tell you that it's the fourth mixtape of the whole Beast Mode series. Nah, we're gonna get straight into it. Yo, it's 10 songs, 30 minutes long, so I'm not complaining about anything on that side of it. I love the way the album start off. The first song, Helen Riots, if I'm saying it right, the track. Track is fire with the Farrakhan, uh, it come on with the Farrakhan speech. I thought that was appropriate, especially for the time. Even what Sheik Luch is talking about, from the first bar, he say, our fathers is dying, our babies is crying. They know more about, they know less about Malcolm. They know more about Zion. And we drop out of school for some stuff that's important. They know less about Malcolm. They know more about Jordan. Like, yo, that was fire and the whole song going on. Yo, Sheik Luch, what up? I'm with you. Now the second song, St. Ides Flow, man. See, we gonna get into this one because this song mean a little bit something different to me. First of all, it's a Biggie song. They remix and redoing a track that Biggie did for a St. Ives commercial, and that was one of the beats that that was the beat that Biggie used. So I'm familiar. If y'all don't know about this, if you wasn't around or if you was around and wasn't privileged, the St. Ives Bear they had hip hop promoting them, and they had them doing commercials, little 30 second, 45 second joints. I can't remember everybody they had, but I had the tape. I had the tape crazy. I had the tape full. Of commercials, but the joint was fire. I remember Wu had one. Yo, it was a bunch of dope people on there. So, yo, I'm familiar with the Biggie St. Oz joint. So now we got this one, and this one did not live up. Like when I see you got Jada Kiss and you got uh styles p featured on here i told y'all before when i listen to any locks member album this is the song that's standing out to me this is the song i'm listening for so i'm expecting greatness and this is the my least favorite song on this entire project man you know like they didn't live up the bars man she talking about i remember the first time i put my dick on the lips she sucked it turned around I put my hand on the hips, then bang, bang, bang. Like, come on, yo, nah, yo. Yo, you supposed to kill it on this one. This ain't no song where you gonna dance to. This song is where no matter what you talking about, we listening to the bars. Even Jada, yo, my first role, Meek Mill was in elementary. Like, that's okay. That wasn't fire, man. Nah, man, I did not like this one. I was disappointed, man. This is one I would skip. This is definitely one I would skip later on. The morning, yo, the morning. See, this is why I press play on a chic album for songs like this. This joint is fire. I love the track. This is probably my favorite song on here. Even the hook. I don't want beef, but I will cock back. Swing through your block and I won't look back. That shit fire. Wake up in the morning. That joint. Yo, I love that track. Onyx featuring Lil Fame from M.O.P. Yo, first of all, this joint got the whole M.O.P. 90s feeling. A lot of this mixtape did, but this joint got it. Um, yo, Lil Fame was cooking on here. Sheik did his thing. I'm not talking about Sheik. Sheik didn't drop the ball. She cooked on here, but Lil Fame, yo, I put a match in between my fingers and smack fire out your face. That's oh, that is classic MOP bars right there. So yeah, yo, I'm riding with him on this one. Angel Dust featuring Ghostface. Mixed feelings about this one because it's a cool vibe. I like the track. I like the little Angel Dust sample. Ghostface fit appropriate for what it was going on. That was a definite that, that was a good feature choice there. But any song about Angel Dust, man, like right, how much of it can I relate to? Yo, G Cole featuring Tony Moxberg. Yo, this was dope. Tony cooked on here, yo. I, yo, Sheik. This is another one of them joints of why I press play, yo. This is why I turn on Sheik. 
This is my favorite part of Sheik. There's a lot of pause. Pause. There's a lot of different uh, elements to his artists, his artistry. You know what I mean? Sheik can give you a lot of different elements on that. But this Sheik right here, yo, I, yo. Spirit of Griselda featuring Benny the Butcher, Rags the Artist. This was dope. This was another one of my favorite joints on here. Sheik and Benny killed it. The only thing that I would have wanted on this one, the only thing I would have wanted would have been a Jada feature, yo. Oh, I heard Jada voice. I heard the laugh. <laughs> I heard it, yo. I do. I, without looking at the track list, I just knew that third verse. He was great. Close it out. Paranoid, yo. The last track on here, he got a video out for that. I literally just watched that joint for the first time. Yo, this is another one of my favorite joints on here. The way Sheik Luch ended this song, talking about, yo, I just, somebody sitting in their car right now talking about that, yo, he just talked my whole life. Yo, that was me, Sheik. That was me, bro. Like, you can't trust these dudes, man. Everything you were saying in this song, I felt it, man. So at the end of the day, this album is a cool listen. If you a Sheik fan, if you a Locks fan, if you a hip hop fan of this type of hardcore street OG hip hop joint, you gonna wanna hear this one. I'm gonna tell you listen to it, definitely press play on it. Nothing too crazy on about it. You know it's not one of my favorite Sheik projects, but if you can appreciate when Sheik put out as much music as he do, like this whole mixtape series that he got out, man, then you definitely would appreciate this one. At one out of ten, I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna let you give it an eight. I'm gonna let you rock to an eight. I'm not gonna let you take it below a seven. Even if you give it an eight and a half, I'm gonna be like, what up? You must be an OG Locks fan. I'm not gonna be mad because this joint do go. You know what I mean? This joint do go. But for me, I'm gonna keep it at a seven and a half, man. I'm your boy Diesel, man.